Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you the best DNS codes to speed up your downloads and internet on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So if you want to go ahead and speed up your game downloads on your PlayStation 5, I'm going to go and show you some of the best DNS codes to type in. So on the home screen of your PlayStation 5, let's go up to the top to settings right here. And then scroll on down to network. Then go to settings and then go over to set up internet connection. Now, if you have the option under networks found to set up a wired LAN cable, go ahead and do that. You are going to get a much quicker and more reliable connection than your Wi-Fi. So take a cable from your router and connect it to your PlayStation 5 if you have that option. So for me, I have wired LAN connected. Now, if you do not have a LAN cable connected, you can press options under this list and then go to Wi-Fi frequency bands and just put five gigahertz as an option. And this will only show you the faster, more reliable, more newer version of Wi-Fi, which will give you faster download speeds and upload speeds. So as you can see, Mr. Beast is crossed out. That is my two gigahertz connection. And my five gigahertz connections are the only ones that will be displayed under networks found. So for me, that is Miss Beast right here. Now, if I do go to my two gigahertz connection right here, a bunch of other connections in my neighborhood will appear. So these are going to be a little bit slower than my five gigahertz. So for my LAN cable connection, I usually average around 430 megabits per second for my download. For my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, I usually average around 380 megabytes per second for my download speed. Then for my 2 gigahertz, I usually average around 280 megabytes per second for my download speed. So there is quite a significant difference. Now, let's go ahead and just change some of the DNS settings for my connection. So I'm going to connect to my 5 gigahertz then press options on it, and then go to advanced settings, and then scroll on down under this list until we get to DNS settings right here. It's gonna be automatic, let's go to manual now. Then for the primary DNS, type this in 1.1.1.1, then go to R2 and done. And then for the secondary DNS, go to 1.0.0.1. This is gonna be the Cloudflare DNS. Go ahead and try that and go to OK and test your internet connection. Then the next one, which is the Google Open DNS, is 8.8.8.8. R2 and done. And go to the secondary and type in 8.8.4.4. Press R2 and done. Then a lot of times I like going to the MTU settings and just typing in 1473. Then press R2 and done and go to OK. Now, here is a list of all of the best DNS servers that you can connect to. Now, the first two, the Google Public DNS and Cloudflare, I just showed you. But then you have OpenDNS, CyberGhost, Quad9 is pretty good too. OpenNIC DNS, DNS.watch, Yandex, Nestar, Clean, Browsing, Komodo Secured, Unsecured, Uncensored DNS, Free DNS, etc. So go ahead and try out some of those. I recommend one and two, definitely. And then maybe quad nine. So once you are connected to the internet, back out and then go to connection status and go to test internet connection right here for your download and your upload speeds. So if you are connecting to your five gigahertz or your LAN cable, you definitely will see an increase in speed. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.